Faith. Hope and Carnage is built around a series of telephone exchanges that locked in 2020 between musician Nick Cave and journalist Sean O'Hagan. These talks were later transcribed organized as an expanded QA and a kind of memoir that Cave reflects on art, music, religion, death, childhood in Australia, early adulthood raising hell. The audiobook, then, is the project that goes full circle as Cave and O'Hagan narrate the transcript of their speech. While O'Hagan's presentation is a bit flat at times, it's not a problem that bothers Cave, who is sincere, charismatic and wise even when handling the most difficult topics. Episodes feature his teenage son Arthur, who after falling off a cliff in 2015, and the transformative effect his death had on Cave. In the months following the accident, she was sent into chaos that is also a kind of helplessness, though she has since channeled her grief into a new and more empathetic way of being. Cave launched the Red Hand Files, a website where he invites people to ask me anything in 2018. It's a concept that the singer, who once avoided publicity, would find unthinkable before, but now sees human connection and intimacy as crucial to her ability to continue. With a broader reflection on humanity, he says, collective grief can bring extraordinary change, a kind of soul transformation. We can seize this opportunity, or we can squander it and let it pass us by. Faith, Hope and Carnage, available from Canongate in 8 hours and 38 minutes more listening and Napolitano, Penguin Audio, 15 hours 6 minutes emergency room actress Maura Tinney talks about the life and loves of four Chicago sisters in this comprehensive update of Louisa May Alcott's Little Women. In Thatcher Rory Carroll, Harper Collins, 11 hours 51 minutes the veteran journalist's meticulous and gripping account of the IIAing of Brighton's Grand Hotel, where Margaret Thatcher and her British cabinet were staying, is read by actor Gary Trainer.